We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Hi, I'm Mary Kirk, and welcome to my art journey. We love to cut to live best because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives. The night is young, don't need anybody else. studio I hope you're having a good day I have been really inspired lately I watched Nate Bright do the Alvin returns pour angel wing pour and I watched acrylic creations with Jay Witty do an angel wing pour and I'm dying to do another angel wing pour so let's get down to the canvas and see how this turns out Okay, for this pour, we are going to use a 16 by 20 canvas. I agree with Nate, bigger is easier. Um, I did my last one on a smaller canvas. I think this will be easier. I am going to use my five chamber split cup, but we're only going to use three chambers of it. And I've got my other split cup here that's going to go under because you played, you pour this in a waterfall fashion. So you're gonna prop up one end when you pour. So let's go through the colors. I have a slightly larger than normal color palette. You sometimes only do this with like three colors, but I've decided to do four. So this is going to be my base coat. And I also have a little cup of it because it will go in the split cup. This color is a mixture of my DecoArt Metallics in Rich Espresso. And I threw in a little bit of my Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown just to deepen the color, darken it up just a little. So that is my base coat and my center coat, my center chamber on my split cup. My next color is also a mixture. I didn't have any copper. Um, so I went with uh, the Folk Art Treasure Gold in Fire Opal, and into that I add a little Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold, 
and those two combined have given me a sort of copperish color. Um, the Folk Art Treasure Gold Fire Opal tends to have a bit of a pinkish tinge when it dries, which is why I added the Nickel Azo Gold in there to sort of give it more of a copper gold shine. Next, of course, is my Deco Art Americana Decor 24 Karat Gold because that will add some beautiful sparkle. You'll notice everything is metallic. And then my final color, my white. This is a combination of the Deco Art Metallics in Pearl and my Satin Enamels in Pure White. All right, let's start with loading up our cup. So for this, I'm going to put the color that is the same as my base color in the center chamber. So we're gonna put that in there. Now, though this canvas takes 12 ounces of paint, and this is a 12 ounce split cup, we're leaving two chambers blank because we only want our wing to be in the center and not all the, over the whole canvas. So I don't need enough paint to fill all the chambers, just three. So we're gonna fill that center one. And we want that center one because that is the center between our wings. So that's where we want it to be, right there in the middle. So it comes out and divides our colors. All right. Now, the other chambers I'm going to be layering my three colors into. So I'm going to start each one, I think, with a little bit of my copper tone. All right, so I'm gonna put that to the side for a minute. And I did paint all my sides and edges with the rich espresso because we are not gonna tilt over the sides with everything. Nice base coat that's going to help the paint move and slide easily. I'm going to tilt the canvas up, and then we're going to pour from this end, and it'll flow down the middle. Um, I didn't mention before, but all my colors are mixed with mixed pour today. If you want some mixed pour, you can contact Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com. So put that to the side. Now you're going to do a straight pour with just a back and forth motion. And you want to keep your cup pretty close to your canvas during this so that you get your wings. So we're going to put that up. And we're gonna hope this works. All right, here we go. Every day I see miserable people. Now you want to keep track because you want to make sure that you don't let it go too far down. Have you ever thought about you? Don't know why I keep on doing what I'm told to do. I'm just gonna let it sit and go down a little bit more and let it stretch. And for this type of pour, you're tilting side to side 
and front to back. You're not tilting corner to corner. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm happy so far. All right, I'm gonna put that back down. Oh yeah, I'm already happy. Okay, so we're first gonna torch. So I love that too. Very happy. All right, I think I'm gonna start by going this way just a bit still. Stretch it a bit. One of my wings is a bit bigger than the other, but that's okay. Side to side action. We don't need someone to feel all right. Start to stretch it out. too fast. I want to keep it nice. I have a spot right here that seems to not be flowing as well, so let me just add a little bit. I don't know if there's a goober there or what, but let's see if we can get that to flow a little nicer. go over the side we want to come close we don't want to go over stretch it back this way this way and some more off the end.
paint on here, so I'm gonna remove a little down at that end. And we'll stretch it back up this way. I'm hoping I'm not gonna lose the definition in my wings doing this, but. this way a bit and see where we are. quite get as much separation down here at the bottom in my wings as I wanted. It got a little mucky there. Look at this a minute. Decide if I want to do any more or leave it. I wish I had more definition down the center here. My line got a little bit clouded. I almost want to run a little line down there, but I'm afraid it will just make it worse. What I may do though. love these tones on the espresso. I'm worried that I have too much paint still. But I'm thinking if I tilt too much more, I'm going to get too much distortion, especially in that center line. Excess base paint on here. I want to try and eliminate some of it. Because I don't want it to crack. Way too long. 
Okay. That's a little better. Heat's fixed here. Okay. A few edge spots I want to clean up, but otherwise, I'm very happy. Okay. I'm going to clean up the edges a bit and I'll bring it down for a close up. Okay, we have some wet results. I don't know if you can see it from this angle too. But... So there's some beautiful lines in here. So we'll see how it dries. It's not as good a definition on the wing tips as I would have liked but they're still gorgeous. And I think overall, I still like it, even though down here near the bottom, that separation line gets a little messy. But I think the overall look is really beautiful. And I love how the colors banded, the gold on the outside, and then that fire oak bold, and then some more gold, and then the white, and then the, the dark on this one. So, all right, let's let this dry and see how it looks. Hang in for dry results. Oh, I am so, so happy. This is the dry results of the wing pour. Look at these wings. Look at the detail in there. The lines. And the shine on this is so fabulous. Oh, down the swing. The cells and the lines. I am so, so happy. Oh, fabulous pour. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for being here for my 100th video. I am so happy that you're here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell for more video upload messages. Thank you for getting me to this point of 100 YouTube videos. Your support has meant the world to me. You are the wind beneath my wings. Thank you.